here we go. Next boat we're going to take a look at. Getting kind of wore out looking at boats, but this is what you got to do. This is a 1986 Jefferson 42 foot sun deck. Stop the madness, start the adventure. Some days here. See up top, it's got the uh, dinghy up on top, enclosed uh, flybridge with the strata glass. That's supposed to be the, some of the stiff, best uh, clear plastic or whatever you want to call it. But that's strata glass, and the Ising glass is on the back. Looks kind of a tannish color material, hard top. Got the burgundy window covers, burgundy paint. Uh, you can see the bottom needs to be cleaned. People just got off this boat. It's not even on the market yet. We know the broker that's listed it. He showed us some other boats. Almost bought one of his other present 42s, but we didn't buy it. But you can see right on the water line, it's probably hard to see with the GoPro, but you can actually see how much it came up out of the water just by the stuff they took off the boat. So don't think for a moment that you can't put enough in there to uh, lower your boat a couple inches in the water. There's your uh, anchor system up there with your windlass. Got some fenders up there, stainless steel rails, a few scratches. This is a well-used boat. This was a live-aboard cruiser boat for 10 years. The people decided to get off of it and go get a house in Mobile. So you can see it's got the coverings on the windows, which help. Hatch covers. It's got some issues with it. But this is a well-used boat. It's not a brand new one. It's got the sunscreens. Keep the sun out so inside we'll be able to see out. But it helps keep the sun out. You can see up in here, there's where you got your enclosure. Issues here, that's gotta be fixed on this window. We'll see what happens on the inside. Swim platform, steps down, access going out, little magna grill. There's your escape hatch from inside your swim platform. There's your davit system up top. Looks like it's got an electric motor on it, but there's no cover on it, unlike uh, if you saw the present, you saw there should be a cover on that. Keep the elements out the best you can. But this one, a little bit rough. It's gonna need some TLC to clean up. So let's go inside. There's a door over here on the starboard side. That'll open up, give you access front and back. And of course you got the steps going up to the back sun deck. Well, let's go back to the sun deck and check it out. All right, coming in the starboard side to the sun deck. You got some type of lightweight matting down here. There's your deck. Looks like it's been sealed over. Access to the back. Here is your uh, your sink, storage, entrance into the main salon, solid roof. This is what Kim and I really want. We want to be able to come back here and sit, enjoy ourselves, and if the weather gets too bad, then we'll go down below. Port side, go up here on the flybridge. All right, up on the flybridge, you've got your GPS maps 5212, your radio, here's your controls. This does synchro has a synchronization on it. You got the lead, you can synchronize them where this one will do both engines at the same time. Your compass, and then you've got your uh, your uh, pi your ray pilot or Raytheon, that'd be your uh, radar if I'm not mistaken. All your controls. Top of the radar is 18.4. Top of boom, 16.6. Top of GPS, 16.3.
Then you got your uh, your depths and your navigator, your autopilot, your alarms, depth sounder. So not too bad. It's got the uh, Bimini top. Looks like it's still intact. Probably seen its better days, but it's still there. And then you got a little director's chair back here. Of course, this is where you go down into the main salon. Leaving the flybridge. And these right here, you can see these radar arches hinge and fold over. Where if you have to go through a low bridge like up in Chicago on the loop, it'll fold, it'll fold down so you can help you get under them. So here's looking down back down into the sun deck. So basically when you're piloting down, you're sitting up here looking out. And then when you get to anchor, you come back here and sit or you go below. So let's go down to the salon. Alright, we got some fans going here. Here's the lower controls. He's got the Cat 3208. I think these are two 60s in this, I think. See how open this is here? This is the difference with the Jefferson. And the, and the Jeffersons, there's no two made identically alike. There's always something going to be different with each Jefferson boat. There's going back out, half cabin that way. Got some storage here, chair here. Of course, here's your hatches for your your uh, engines underneath here, two of them. Coming down into the uh, galley area. Fed tea. And storage. You see this is a little di different configuration how you come down here instead of a straight shot. You got more of a wall over here and you, you'll see the difference up there. Double sink. Older microwave, electric stove oven combo, storage, refrigerator, freezer. Here's your forward head with a separate shower. There's the head. So a separate shower in this one for, and that's a lot of room, for the forward v -burn. Got the bunks on the right. A little storage underneath here. Here's your anchor locker, and you got your chain, so that's good. We got some chain in here. Looks like uh, it's either three eighths or five sixteenths. I can't really tell the difference. It ain't been used in a while because it's got dirt daubers and spiders. But it's got plenty of chain. Again, you probably can't see it. A little wood damage there. A little bit over here. But oh man, I'm telling you, almost all these boats have issues with that. But not too bad. Alright, let's go back to the aft cabin. This is the kitchen looking back up the other way. Pretty roomy right here. You're not really closed in with this big refrigerator in this configuration. All right, coming down to the aft cabin. Really like this layout. Got you a center queen. Water tanks underneath this again. You got a nice place to sit over here. Nice place to sit over there. Hanging locker there with some drawers. You got some uh, drawers here hanging closets, storage here. So that's good. Good storage on these sun decks. So you'd have to go around and you'd have to check each one of these, especially the one that had the damage, and check and see how solid each one of these are. And that's just the process. Because you got issues over here. That's all delaminated. It's hard back behind it. It's not rotted. But all your laminate.
came loose here. Can you fix it? Absolutely. Problem is fix the leak. Fix where your water is coming from. That's the big thing. Gotta fix. Gotta fix this. So you can take out, take a piece of new laminate all the way across and fix it. If there's anything wrong back here, you you can cut it out and fix it. They do it all the time on these boats. Here's the aft head. Got you a little bathtub, stand-up shower, a little string, hang your laundry. There's your head and your sink. Little updated faucets. All in all, not too bad. Lots of room. So not too shabby. I like the uh, I like the uh, the aft uh, cabin here. Nice room, plenty of storage.